Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. And we turn up a, a small mini tube, and it's going to be a, an ASCII gold. So, another fly of a modern twist. So, the first thing we need to do is for the thread of this fly, it's going to be red, and I'm just going to put on a tag which is small gold oval. Okay, I'm just going to run this down to basically where the, the sleeve of the, 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 the junction tubing will be. Okay, and then I'm going to just do a few returns of thread, enough so I can get a tag in. I only just need a couple of turns. Okay, so one, two, three I'll do. I'm trying to keep this small and neat. Okay. Then run your thread back up and cut off your excess. So I'm going to use golden pheasant for the tail. So this is a small golden pheasant feather from the breast and what I'm going to do is I'm going to expose the tip. A few favours on the tip. I'm going to wax my thread. I'm going to just tie that in as it's starting to splay a little bit on a few of the fibers but it's got about five or six wraps there so it's very secure you can on the tip bring the tip back if you want it as well actually maybe do that this time just for the show you i don't normally do it like that um and then just train your fibers but being golden pheasant it should be okay to, to just wet and turn so as this is a small mini tube probably going to be fixing for for lowish water i'm only going to probably do two turns the tail okay and make sure you keep on double the nose as it's winding round okay once you're happy with it just secure it in and then I'm gonna remove a few fibers normally I do the whole feather you see but I'm not doing the whole feather this time so I'm just gonna remove a few fibers just for a neater tie in then bring that up the shank or your tube. Okay. Turn off your excess. So that should be well spread out. It's a bit scruffy looking at the tube, tube holder, but afterwards it'll be it'll be absolutely fine. I want to add in a little bit of flash into the tail. So again, it's a variant, so it is going to be a lot more flash than your, your normal. Yes, key gold. So that's, I think that's three strands. That's just in the centre of the tube there. I cut those off just about the same length as the the tail fibres, if you like. Okay. Just needing up here to go along. Okay, so uh, for the rib of the fly. I'm going to be using the gold wire. So I'm just going to sneak that in under at the bottom of the tube. And bring that down towards the tail. And then the body, both parts of the body is going to be um, ice stub, gold ice stub. So traditionally it would have been the gold oval. But I'm going to just use this gold ice stub. It dubs on really well, very easy. And it should be a great fly for, for cleaning water. Okay, so I'm just doing one turn there until I get a good bit of the stub on and then I start bringing that up the body. Okay. Cut the surplus. Then I follow the, the rib, so probably three turns would be more than enough behind it. Okay. And then what you can do is instead of cutting the wire you just hold the bobbin tight and you can just twist that wire off. See if you have any blunt your scissors. Okay so there's two hackles for the fly so the mid mid hackle is going to be orange cock hackle. So as you've seen me do this before I'm just going to break off the tip Expose a few fibres and then with some wax thread, 
high end at the break, a couple of turns, pull those fibers back, and tie on top of that again. Okay. Then I just start to train the fibers back, back so they're pointing down onto the stock. And a couple of wraps. There's one. There's two and probably three will be more than enough. Okay. Secure that in. Cut off your access. And then we're on to the front body, so again you want to use your take your wire again. Secure it in underneath. Okay. Then a slightly smaller bit of gold bright or a stub, whatever you want to call it. Just be careful as you're twisting the dubbing that you don't actually catch any of the hackle or tail fibers there. Okay, a couple of turns to secure that in. Then I'm going to actually just cut off the excess dubbing here as well. And I'll follow up behind that with two, two turns of the gold wire to help secure that in. You can have it as scruffy as you want, but you can just leave it with no rib. This just gives you a bit more security if a fish hits it. And again, you can twist off that wire. Okay, so the front haggle is going to be red just like a red scarlet haggle and again as before i just break off my, my tip and expose a few fibers and then tie them with wax thread put everything back okay And just training these fibers to point downwards. We'll see how many turns we'll get. Two or three, probably more than enough. That's one. Two. Then take off start plus that'll end up back in this three. Give us a nice clean finish. Okay. I'm going to unwind a bit there because I want to make sure I get wax on this thread because I'm getting a cone on. Okay. If I have wax on the thread, I can use less wraps. Just neatening up here. <coughs> okay, and then last thing I want to do is add on some jungle cock. So I've got two feathers here, one on each side. I'm going to have these slightly roofed. And hopefully that there. I normally I would have super glue to secure this in, but I don't have any super glue at the moment. So I'm gonna use a bit of varnish. Okay, so 
I've got this hard as nails, which is quite quick try and varnish. I need to blow that on. Just be careful you don't hit any of the feathers. And if you do, just remember to cut them off later on. Okay. And then it's going to do a wee whip finish. I haven't got my whip finish tool here, so I'm just doing a few wraps by hand. And then, just before I put my cone head on, I want to put on another bit of varnish here, just to give a very secure hold underneath the cone. Don't worry about any of the excess fibres, they'll all be pushed back with the cone anyway. So let's get your comb. So this time I have a, a drainer disc comb. I'm gonna push that on. I don't want to put because it's nice from flying there's hackles, I don't want to push it on too too far because you'll compress those hackles. So I'm gonna leave it at that there. And then I'm gonna cut it down. And then last thing we need to do is just burn that off. Be careful you don't send any the hackles. Okay. Don't have a hole in it, but if, if the hole did start to cover up, all you need to do is put the needle in where it's still warm. But as you can see, I can still get through, and that's your your Esky Gold Irish Shrimp Fry Mini Tube, folks. Probably won't sit well for the photo here, but there you go. Hopefully, you found that useful. And as always, if you did, please hit that like button and the subscribe button as well below. All the best until next time. Thanks very much.